take three. All right, let's see if we can keep this connection. Sorry, guys, the my phone's kind of shitty. All right, so we're going to walk back over here. We have a nice, good, uh, nice, good crowd here. We're in Scottsdale, Arizona for the Donald Trump Jr. book signing. Hello, folks. And that's all the way around. Hopefully all these people will get their book signed. So quite a, I'd say about, I don't know, maybe a thousand or two. How many people do you think are here? About a thousand. So let's see. Our folks are up there. Guys, Hello. And we're gonna we're gonna go up there. Hello. Yeah, how's it going? We're gonna go up there in just a minute, but right now I'm gonna try to finish this conversation with these kooks over here. <laughs> Brian is back in town. Yeah. Say hi, Brian. Yeah. Okay. So there was only like four of them out there. Um, when I walked across the street to talk to the people with the lock them up signs, they left. Of course they did. Couldn't get a connection going. So again, guys, live here in Scottsdale, Arizona for yeah, the easy Trump, guy? Trump Jr. Trump Jr.'s book signing of his new book, Triggered. Um, they are triggered. Yeah. Well, let's see. Uh, are you here to support our president? I'm here to support the United States of America. Great. So you then you support freedom and liberty and... I support the people of the United States of America. Right. Okay, what does that mean to you? I'm Jennifer, by the way, AZ Patriots. Hi. Hi. And, uh, you know, and I believe that I'm as much of a patriot as you are. Okay. Um, but I do not support the things that Donald Trump does. Like what? Yeah. Give me one. <laughs> Give me your strongest argument. There's, there's a number of things, but he does not tell the truth. He deceives people. He lies. He entered the presidency with multiple lawsuits against him. He thinks he's, you know... But anybody can file a lawsuit, right? Like, I could take you to court right now and say you, you know, stepped on my toe. That doesn't mean that you did, right? That's right, but he doesn't pay his bills. He doesn't show respect. What bill did he didn't pay? You know that person? Like, you you, you balance... Well, I'm just asking you. There are a lot of construction but I, bills. But I'm asking you why... Why you he is not been an honest man. Okay, he's an adulterer. But you're bouncing all over the place. Yes, here. because oh, that's the kind of man he is. So you, you balance his checkbooks? You know he doesn't pay his bills. Hmm. Huh. Liberals. Let's see who else we can talk to. Hi. I'm Jennifer from AZ Patriots, and uh, what? I'm not interested, but thank you. You're not interested in a conversation? You want to be the change. Your shirt says, be the change. What does that start with? Do you think that's, what maybe start with like crossing the aisle and, and respecting one another in, in civil discourse and dialogue? Be the change. What does that mean to you? No. Be the change. As her friend blew a whistle in my ear. And they have nothing to say. Are you, sir, are you here to support our president? Yeah, uh, yeah, just independent media, right? We're just citizens out there chit chatting and, and, and talking to other, you know, citizens. Are you here to support our president? Yes. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. Two smart ladies. Oh, sorry. Is that your water? Three smart ladies. Anybody's water? And a gentleman. She is, too. So, well, I'm just... So, most people that don't support the president, right, they don't have any legitimate reason why. Right? It's just, like, regurgitated untruths and signs and noisemakers. Hello. Hi. 
Do you support our president? Of course. Awesome. Just some ordinary guy that showed up. Today. So we're outnumbered. Yeah. Where did the uh, lock em ups go? <laughs> she left? Bummer. She couldn't take it anymore. This is boring. <laughs> We were here as a group on that side. A uh, protesters? Yeah. All right. Can you show me? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Come on, Mike. Right down there on the corner. Uh, yeah. All right. That's what I like. Are they like for or against? Again, some that are for the corner. Thank you. <laughs> change. Whoops. Be the change. I just pushed something. Well, we definitely know what. Uh, what she's talking about when she's talking about how people Costco like to, in people Scottsdale, like guys. Um, Rain Tree off a of Rain Tree and uh, the 101. So, uh, you know, again, you try to talk, you try to be civil, and, uh, you know, they, they blow whistles in your ear and they hold signs in the front of their face and they, they have nothing intelligent to say. He's an adulterer. He lies and he doesn't pay his bills. What bill didn't he pay? You just stop. You're mean. You can look it up. You can look it up, you extremist. You. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of lies, where's the easy mayor guy? Yeah, where, where's Jared? Jared, yeah. come on. Come on, Jared, make a statement. We need to have a conversation, Jared. Take a statement on camera. AZ Mirror. Jared. You know, he used to be an Antifa man. Who, Jared? Yeah. Oh, you know I'm who I'm sure talking about? Yes. I'm sure he did. You know who I am? Who are you? Shit. Who are you? Um, just some guy today. Some guy. If you know my name, then you know who I am. <laughs> Do you know who I am? Do you know who she is? I know who she is. Yes. Let's see what we got here. Where's, uh, where's, Easy where's the against? Guy? These look like that they're for. Where's the protesters? Over here, down the street. Yeah. They saw me come over and they suddenly decided to go over to the protest. Here, walk all right, down. All right. All right, so we have some supporters here. All right, ladies, good job. Way to represent. That's right. No impeachment. Thank you. Amen. Hey. Good, how are you? Good. Good to see you. This is, this is Denise. Denise. How you doing again? Say hi, to Denise. Hi, hi, Denise. Hi, Denise. Hi, Denise. I'm gonna go chat with the uh, oh, yeah. go with the, the protesters. Oh, yeah. I'll be right back. Are they bad? Let's see. Oh, lock him up. Here we go, guys. This should be interesting. So we're here at Costco. Junior's here for his book signing. New book is called Triggered. So let's see why they're triggered. Ah, there's the whistle girl. Hey, ladies. No. That was me. How can you be a woman and do that? Do what? What you're doing. What am I doing? Let's have a conversation. Can anybody? Here we go. Hey. Why can't anybody have a conversation? Hey. Here's my, Hi. Here's my message on Veterans Day. Okay, I like people who weren't captured. This is sacrifice. This is not. Okay, so that's, we yeah we respect our veterans. He had. You know he's working for free, right? He takes no paycheck. And I also know that he has also spent over a hundred million dollars in travel in less than three years. Obama, at the very top in eight years, is 112. You tell me that's what bothers that you is just the travel money. Dollars. No, no, you just said to me he's working for free. Right. No, he's not. He doesn't take a paycheck. He doesn't take a paycheck, but he's sucking off the taxpayer's teeth. How is he sucking off the taxpayer's teeth? By... He already, like, oh completed my God, the Secret Service he... Retirement Fund. He already what? He already the completed deal. the Secret Service Retirement Fund. How is that really yeah. affecting people? Who, so, who I, there, you know, she's right. There's no use engaging in Well, no, this. I'm, I'm just trying to have a conversation. Have so, you don't find it offensive that he gets $100,000 really, a year that he You really want someone who does that to women? No, I just... She doesn't care. She can speak. She's a she's an adult woman. She can yeah. speak. Oh, oh yeah, like all and people you are too, sure, and that's like, what's amazing. Yes. Like okay, because I support freedom and liberty. And I support freedom and liberty. And I, and liberty. And I love this so country. You okay. Can stop with the, and the he's trying to extort the American. The you're not the least bit like curious that. about. That you're not the least bit curious about his tax returns, what they might show, and who he might go to. 
Well, honey, I bet if Obama did all the shit that Trump has done, you would be up in arms. Our conversation. Why, why do you want to see his tax returns? To see how much money he made? No, yeah, I'd like to know how much he's worth. And furthermore, why do you want to know how much he's really worth? Like know. How much are you worth? I would, I'm how, not much is your bank account? Me, how much is in your bank account? Excuse me. How much is in your bank account? It's none of your business. Exactly. I am not the president of the United States. And tax furthermore, tax. think about that. He the doesn't have to show his tax return. Own, who does he owe money to? He doesn't have you to show his tax return. He returns. owes money. Yeah. Oh, Russian oil. He doesn't. This lady was we are arrested done. in Maricopa County as a prize for identity. Not charged. Fraud. Not oh, charged. This chick. Yeah. Not charged. So don't waste your time. Not charged. We're don't done here. Not charged. We're done here. You're done here. Not stop. charged. You're done here. 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 You're done
divided. He is divided. You don't think this behavior is Democrats look at your behavior. Let me hear you. Look at your behavior. Look at his behavior. Look at look your behavior. At the president's behavior. What is the, what is the president doing? He is not doing his job. Your handler's telling you not to go away. Look at this beautiful smile. Honey. Does this look like the teeth of a meth a meth addict? Look at this beautiful smile. Look at this beautiful face. Look at this beautiful face. No, that's not what I said. You know where I work? Right? I work at Rehab, you idiot. You don't know what you're fucking goddamn thing about. You're angry. Keep your hands to yourself, little one. you racist? And why would you think I'm a racist? Because you support a racist. No, I don't. He's not a racist. He's not a racist. I don't support the NAACP. They're the racists. You're wrong. No, I'm not wrong. How's he a racist? Not even a little bit wrong. You're wrong. How's he a little bit wrong? Yes. She's just a distraction. No, I'm just having conversations. Yes. Look at the hate. Yeah. And that, yeah. Look at yeah. the hate. Yeah, I hate you. Yeah. Why do you hate me? You don't even yeah. know me. I've never oh, seen you before. Yeah. I've seen you, Mark. I hate you because I hate racism. You, you hate my politics, hate so you hate oh, me. Oh, here we go with the kids. Hey, you, you scared the kids. Uh -oh. Me what? Oh, you you're quiet, Mike. You're quiet. Yeah, you're quiet. No, I'm going to try to have a breakthrough with this one. Okay, let me just ask you a question. Wait, wait. I want to talk to her. Why do you hate me? It's okay. You don't even know me. Do you think it's okay for children to be separated from their parents. Hold on, let floor. me answer. Can I answer? I answer. Okay. Waiting. When children come here unaccompanied, no, I'm not hold talking Hold on. Accompanied. When children I'm come here with coyotes, when they come with their parents. They're not separated. They, they're they really are no, separated. They're not. You're, You're wrong, lady. When was the last time okay. either you went hold to the border? Hold on, crazy liberals. When, when was the last time either you went to the border? Yeah. You know what? I, I have been when? helping the immigrants. When? Answer the question. We went there and we spent three months at the border. I have been helping So then you know not separated Why? from their parents. Yes, they no, are. they are not. Absolutely so then you not. know that they I'm got off the buses. They got off the buses. They got off the buses with adults. You don't want to listen to the truth. She's not, you know, Did these children? She's lying. Did these children? How many? Okay, so I'm gonna have a conversation with you. Okay. We're not brainwashed. You are. You are. How many children got off those DHS buses? Drugs go away. How many? How many kids got off those buses? Lisa and Brandy and fucking Laura. Go back to the hay page. Go back to the hay page. Go back to the hay page. Again. Again. You want her to do a drug test? I don't need it. Does this look like the phase of somebody on drugs? No. That's all they have. That's all they have is their little hateful lies. Because I want to have a conversation. With you. I want to try to have a breakthrough with you. Uh, you're not going to have a breakthrough with me because yes. this is really the truth. Right. You're yes. You're, you're, not, you're not believing the truth, so okay, hold on. going to talk to you. Listen, Just calm down. You can't talk when you're screaming at people and in their faces. No one's going to talk to you because you do not believe the your truth. Master okay, hold on. Quiet. How many, how many fake families, how many fake families were, were encountered at the border? Ignore. Put it on ignore. Shut it down. How many fake families were encountered, were, were uh, apprehended at the border? Sir? You don't know. So, in in the case where a There's child like twenty five thousand or twenty five hundred three thousand fake kids families that were without that were separated from family fake that families will be permanent fake families not fake families, ma'am. So they were separated. Not fake. Why were they separated? You're listening Quiet. To fake Let me have a conversation. News. You're listening to fake news. Let me have a You're conversation. You're listening to an asshole in the president that this lies you to can't the American to the liberals. people every Stop. day. Why were these he children separated every day? Why? Because President Trump put in a, uh, because he put in a rule that allowed them to be separate. Some, not all though, right? Are we picking and choosing the children we want to None separate? should be separated. So why, why were they separated? Some should be separated. Why were they separated? 
the deal is, is that they weren't all separated. It was already, right? The rule was already. So it's okay separated. that some get separated. The is that what you're saying? In the event that they come okay here they with are a non-parent, yes. I'm not talking about those. Part. I'm talking but about Obama kids that come with their families. Right. They're not separated. They got they off the bus separated. and they were you're released wrong. into Phoenix. You're wrong. Every kid was detained. Every kid. Children are being separated. Every kid. Every kid. Every kid? Not every states. kid. Okay. But a lot of them. Why? Don't ask me. Because I don't they think weren't it's with their families. No, you're they lying came and you're not with listening. coyotes. They came with human smugglers. Okay? Or they, we don't just release Lady, children on the street. Away. Or their parent was a criminal. Or you their parent the truth. was a criminal. You don't even know the truth. We I'm not in conversation. We recorded him doing it. Why do you want me to go away? Because you don't like what I'm saying? Well, I don't even know what you're saying. Okay? Exactly. Well, she's on a public sidewalk, so... The oh, president of Yeah, let's go. Let's go there. Thank you. Let's go there. What? What he just said. Why well, didn't he answer the question? I can't hear it because everybody's screaming at me. Go ahead. The question is: Do you think that it's okay for the president to extort the president of Ukraine for three hundred and ninety-one million dollars if he doesn't investigate? Biden. Biden had all the. Did you not follow the Ukraine story? I just. I'm asking you the question. What? what? Don't talk to her. She did you not it. follow the Ukraine oh story? Yes, I'm following it. Okay. Active. So you know Biden, right? Get the fuck a clue, lady. Biden. It was not Biden. What did Biden do? Oh my God. What did Biden do? Did you follow the story? So yeah, delusional. Biden, Biden works for an oil company. Okay. And he didn't have any experience as a the son, man. Biden's son, you know what Hunter. Hunter Biden. Yeah, right. Right. What? But what does no, that so have to do with Trump Easy holding back the three hundred and ninety? Did you read? I can carry my gun. You can't carry it in there to meet the president's We're son. Here, aren't you? Can't carry it anymore. We're having a car. Yes, I can. It's in the car. It's in the car. Yeah. You don't get your gun taken away when you get arrested, dumb naps. No. Can't and did you know that no charges were filed? I'm sure you looked me up on the uh, Superior Court country. website, right? You noticed that there's no charges. Did you know there's no charges filed? If I gave a shit, you know how that works. Obviously, you do. You hate me, and you don't even know me. I've literally never met you. I despise your politics. You're right. Okay. I do. So I despise your okay. politics, and that means I despise you because you still like this piece of shit president. Well, see, th see, that's hateful. We on the I Trump know. side, well, we can have <laughs> we can have civil discourse <laughs> with liberals and not hate people. You can have civil no, you discourse. You don't know the truth. Aren't you the lady that you like? You don't know the truth. You need to go take some medication. I'm going that, to. That, like, Verbally went after like a priest or something? No. No, you're not her? Verbally went after a priest? See, guys, here's the beauty of America. We can all have a different opinion. We can all have a different opinion. She doesn't answer. You don't have to hate people. She doesn't. Listen, you don't have to hate. Here's newsflash. I'm not I'm not hating on you. You don't she doesn't you don't have to hate people that don't think like you. That's not very diverse, is it? That's not very tolerant, is it? You wouldn't know diversity. Slap you in its dick. See, yeah, diversity is about the right different thoughts and opinions. It's not about skin colors and genitalia, okay? What's the problem? Diversity is about... Diversity is about thoughts. All you have to do is leave. Diversity is about the freedom of different thoughts, right? It's not about skin color, what's between your legs, like liberals like to think. It's about color of race. No, why are you guys so obsessed with race? Huh? You guys are so obsessed with race. I, you're, you're, you're deflecting. I'm not deflecting. Again. You are. You said, you just said that oh, what does color have to do with it? Identity? Right. And I just told you, it's right. color, it's race. That's, that's what it is. Thoughts, ideas, that's diversity. Everybody can think differently. Everybody that's can be different. True. That's another form of Di diversity. Everybody can be different. Yeah, this does look like you. There are yeah. many forms yeah. of diversity, oh, not just one, my dear. Makes sense. Right, but it's also thoughts and ideas. Yes, I agree with so that. So you can't but hate people that think differently than you. She can do whatever she wants to do, right? 
Well, that's, I don't think it's very tolerant and inclusive. Like liberals, like liberals preach. Liberals preach about tolerance. I'm not feeling the tolerance here. Maybe you ought to stop listening to Lisa Antone and the hate page. And their bullshit hate page. Who are they? And their fucking lies that they steal. How'd that happen? What? Never done that. What? They're the assholes who are saying she does meth and everything else that she that they're claiming she does that she doesn't do. Who? No, no, I'm just here to talk to you crazy people. Show the rest of the country. I know. Yeah, yeah. Not charged. Not charged. I'm, I'm just being an asshole, guys. You the devil. You the yes. devil, Bobby Boucher. <laughs> that's not. That's not very. That's not, not very, very tolerant. Neither is accusing somebody of right. math head that doesn't do math. Right. She can tell. Well, yeah, right. Because it's, that. it's all they have. That's. I never got busted for math. Are you crazy? <laughs> Lies. It's in the newspaper. Lies. He's here with you. I mean, identity theft? Yeah, family drama. It was family drama. That's actually not how she makes it. If he yeah. committed identity theft, then how can we trust you to tell us the truth? Was I charged? I mean... Have you ever been arrested? There being a conviction. Hold on, have you ever been arrested? Have I been arrested? Yeah. No, I've never been arrested. You've never been arrested. Correct. Okay. Yeah, this is popular. Okay, cool. I've also never had the New Times write an article about me saying that I was... Oh, the New Times writes an article about everything I do. They write articles about me. That must be really rough. What else have it's, they It's said? actually not. I mean, I just roll with it. I have thick okay. skin. Obviously, I wouldn't be out here if I didn't, right? I mean... Like, obviously, I don't give a shit, right? You seem to care a lot if you're, like, periscoping this for your... Yeah, I want to show my fan, my my supporters. I don't call them fans. I call oh, them supporters. Okay. supporters. Right, right. Jacob, yeah. What are they supporting you to do? What are you doing to make America great again? Um. Well, we expose this, oh, right? This nonsense. Exposing that I think this group is a. Uh, well, tell me. No, I'm just here to cover conversation. I'm not here to like, well, you know, have personal yeah, attacks and stuff. Well, I'm Jennifer, by the way. I don't think we've ever met. Well, no, I, I read about you on the New Times. Okay. So. Well, don't believe the fake news but um wh why do you why are you here to, um, to protest our president's sign i'm here because it's just the trump name well as you can see on my sign um this is a quote from the uh, here step back a little bit so we can have a conversation okay let's have a conversation what was your name again um i didn't give it so okay you're not asking for it again okay well, um i would just call you dude you can call me dude it's gender neutral okay we're at 29 okay so I'm here Hi. because, as you can see, my sign says Don Jr., fortunate son. Right. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have a lot of Creedence Clearwater Revival fans out here today. Because if we did, then they would know that when I'm calling him a fortunate son, this is sarcastic. It's Why? pointing out that Don Jr., like the senator's son, the kid born with a silver spoon in his hand in the uh, Creedence Clearwater Revival hit, Fortunate Son, has made an interesting choice choice to come out on Veterans Day to make it about his book. What do you think about like Chelsea Clinton's daughter or, or uh, Hillary Clinton's daughter Chelsea or, or Obama's kids? Like they're all born. They're not the president's son right now. They're not out here doing a book yes. signing. On so just day. because his last name is Trump no. and he was born into wealth. No. You have a problem with that. That's not very tolerant. Like, everybody has the ability That would to... be really intolerant if that's what I said, but that's not what I said. You're going to cut it up for the... No, 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 I, I'm not cutting anything. I'm just... Live it's all live, yep. Okay. So, so just hey, for the people listening at home... Okay. I have more reasons to not like Donald Trump Jr. Okay. than just that he's rich. Right, I'm wrong. Okay, give me another but one. But being rich yeah. is one of them, honestly. Because no one needs... Is that the main one, though? Well, it's not the main the main one. reason why you hate him? There's, there's, there's the main one. Okay. It's not the main one. Okay. I just... What's wait. the main one, dude? It's not. You just made a sign to come out here and spread well, some hate. I mean, I don't know how quoting Cle uh, Creedence Clearwater Revival is hate. And second of all, we live in a representative democracy. A republic. Well. A constitutional republic. 
it's the Democratic Republic because we elect senators. The senators are not appointed for us by the government. We elect the senators, and they vote on legislation for us on our behalf. That's what makes right. a Democratic Republic. That's a constitutional Republic. Republic. The, well, you can go back and tell my high school civics teacher oh, that he was wrong when he said it was a Democratic Republic. Well, we know Republic. that day, you know, what year did you graduate, you can, if you don't mind me asking. What year did I graduate? Uh -huh. Why does it matter? I'm just curious how, what age group you're in. What do you think? Are you a millennial? I would say like maybe 25. Uh, no. You're like 73. Oh, Am I hot, cold? You're, well, you're off. You're kind of close, but you're off. Can I ask you a question? Yes, sir. So I don't mean to interrupt. Yes, sir. I like the, your, your gyro there, by the way. Thank you. What brand is that? Michael, what brand is this? What? What brand gimbal is this? It's a DJI Osmo. Oh. Can I just ask you? Um, yeah, my name is Jennifer, by the way. Oh, Christopher. Hi, Christopher. Hi. Do you want to come on camera? Oh, sure. Okay. I just wanted to ask you, um, obviously, you know, politics, uh -huh. issues on both sides. Mm -hmm. A lot of controversy in the right, news. Right. news. Um, why do you support him? Why do I support a president? Yes. Um, because he is standing up for middle class America, right? So everybody's working, the economy is booming, taxes are down, lowest unemployment in history for black America, for Latino America, and for women in the workforce, right? That explains all the black and Latino support for Trump, right? Yeah. That whole 8% of the vote that he got. Into well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, I mean, we have a border she issue that needs to be, that needs to be addressed. That finally we have a president that is saying we need to build a wall, secure this border, and put the American people first, right? So, you know, at the end of the day, we're Americans. What, what do we value most? Freedom and liberty. We don't, we don't, val we don't want to depend on the government to feed ourselves. We don't want to depend on the government check. We don't want to depend on government health care. We don't want the government in every aspect of our lives. We want smaller government, right? So our government should secure our border. It should, you know, guarantee that we're safe and secure in our country. Protect us from terrorism. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, so I think the, the two platforms left and right right now is freedom versus socialism. Socialism. So I think a lot, you know, especially a lot of young people, you're tall too. A lot of, a lot of young people, you know, are, are looking for, you know, they wouldn't mind paying more in taxes because they want the handout. They want to be able to, to say, okay, I don't have to work as hard because the government's going to give me a check. Yeah. If I give the government half my paycheck, they'll give me a house and a phone and, you know, food and my basic needs are met. They want those farm bailouts that middle America got when uh, the soy tariffs hit them. It sounds like what you're saying is it sounds like what you're saying is you want to have a level playing field where everybody is pitching in and then everybody does their part. And no, everybody has has the freedom to go be whatever they want to be, make as much money as they want to make, and live the lifestyle that they want to live. Okay. My main question, I suppose, to you would be this. It's a two-party system. Okay. To myself, personally, I, I think we need more parties, because there are a, a, a myriad of issues that, like, like for example... don't really fit. Like, there's middle... Like, like, like clean air and clean water. Right. Uh, that should be in everybody. Conservative Republicans right. have kids. They want to make the clean air. Right. Right, right. It's, but somehow that's become a right. wedge issue because right. of special interests and things. Right. So perhaps there should be more um, parties to, to voice things. My main concern is this. No matter what happens, no matter the platform, no matter the individual, there will always be a, a split between ideologies. Right. And it's incumbent upon us to work together. Right. My question to you is... How can we be expected to do that when, and granted, there's hyperbole and rhetoric, rhetoric it's, it's a cornerstone of politics. Right, it's an emotion, we'll rid of so it. much emotion right But it, it does seem that his uh, comments and opinions are very divisive, almost purposely so. Not necessarily in the pursuit of a policy end, but more stirring the pot, I suppose, drumming up base for the support. Do you think maybe just like saying things that need to be said? 
and then letting Congress come together to meet in the middle and get it done. Like, you know, every... That would be great. See, that I, would be I great. respect him for, for his bold statements because okay. I feel like, you know, well, as an Italian New Yorker, like, my family is from New York, so I can appreciate that. That explains why your hand hasn't stopped moving. Yeah, yeah, I, I can know. appreciate yeah, yeah. that, you know, his personality. Like, that's what made me fall in love with him right, right from the start. Well, sure, sure. And then listening to more of his rallies and speeches sure. and, and really seeing what he stood for, you know, kind of opened my eyes to everything going on and helped me kind of, you know, okay, this is what I stand for. Um, you know, I don't think screaming and yelling at each other on a corner is conducive to anything. I don't think that that is helping bridge the divide right now. I think, like, you are, you don't belong out here with these people, right? Like, you're the most level-headed and, like, decent person. I should be standing next to you and him. Just because we don't agree on certain things doesn't mean that we aren't all American. Right, 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 right. But then there's also, you know, there's also a lot of hate. You know, I don't know if you go back and watch this from the beginning, you'll see all the hate that was, you know, thrown at me just for walking by. But they don't agree with my politics. They literally hate me. Well, you realize... I'm just a middle-aged woman. As polarizing as he is. Yeah. By, it would be the same thing if I put on a, an I'm with her shirt. Right. But I would ask you, why are you with her? Exactly. And we're going to have a dialogue like you came up to do to me. And that's how it should be, you know? And I think we can, we can, you know, reach more, we can solve more problems when we work together, right? You know, it doesn't have to be all left, all right. It has to be done in the middle. It has to be, it has to be common sense, right? Do you know what, you know what I think, honestly? And, and, and one of the reasons why I approached you is because you do have the professional gimbal. You've got the uh, wind cover over mm-hmm, your mic mm-hmm. and the lab going mm-hmm. on. So you're informed. You're intelligent. So you, Thank you. I would want to speak to you. Thank you. I don't identify necessarily with agreeing with his policies okay. or how he looks at things. A lot of the things that are name-checked in uh, discussions, though, uh, secure borders, right. taking care of our So you people. support secure borders? Well, of course taking care of people. Okay. Yes, yes. I mean, granted, that's okay. open to a very wide range of right. what is secure. And, right, and right, right. But, um, I think the main thing that no one is looking at, and perhaps we should, is why... I've never seen, I mean, political discourse has always been separated. It's, it's always been a very right. vocal, and, and a visceral, emotional right. thing. And, and you'll never separate that because we're thinking, feeling human right. beings. Right. But it does seem that this has been a particularly vitriolic exchange. I mean, uh, up until this point, I can't think of any time in my lifetime where I have seen someone say, this is bullshit on national television. I mean, I'm not a, I'm not a prude. I love it, but though. It was, but it was, it was at the same well, point. Well, sometimes you got to call it like you see it, right? I mean, I'm, aren't you sick of being like spoon-fed, polished, scripted, you know, speeches that, you know, our leaders have, you know, edited and passed through, you know, 25 different hands before the president reads it like don't you love that he just gets up and speaks from his heart i'm concerned that all too often opinion pieces are passed off as news and i'm concerned that there is a bias on either side right due to advertiser influence who owns the network etc etc rupert murdoch has one set of values his sons have one completely different but they're both uh, and trump for example right. well my concern is this by limiting ourselves to one side or the other or bad people I will I, I, you know actually I'll agree with one thing that he has said what's that the current system cannot exist and be perpetuated as it exists right now it's a broken system right there are there's a lot of corruption and, and there's a lot of corruption absolutely on, on, on both sides of the right. aisle because money's involved it's going to be money or people are going to lobbies power you're going to have mm-hmm. stuff right but it's uh, it's concerning to me that it's so uh, in nice it seems that I would like to know what the root of this is because in my in my opinion I see well I think a lot of it's perpetuated too by the news so they you know they yeah yeah I think there are a lot of people like what are called the flyover states right I think they've been ignored I think that Hillary Clinton 
didn't even go to, was it Michigan? She didn't even bother to go. And there were people that desperately right. needed to hear some hopeful message. Right. In, in absence of any kind of leadership for their party, they're going to go for whoever's they are the next speaking. best message. Yeah, yeah. Precisely. Well, like Trump said, you know, to the black community, what do you got to lose? Vote for me. And now look, That's last great. unemployment, so, lowest in history. You can't, I mean, you just can't deny that. We also have more black people being shot in very conspicuous circumstances. If I, I can't, I can't honestly speak to what it's like to be black. I think if I were, I would be, I would be very scared. Scared to be black? I would, in, in today's political climate, it, because it's so intense and because it doesn't seem to be a lot of oversight on policing tactics, community outreach. When you don't, when you don't trust the people that are contracted to serve and protect you, regardless of where the problem came from. Right, now I will say this, and I will say this, and you know, my my guys here on this live feed probably are, aren't going to like this very much, but you know what? I was totally like, you know, you're a criminal, you deserve to be arrested, da da da. And I was like 100% like, cops can do no wrong, blah, blah, blah. And then I was, uh, you know, caught up in some family drama and wrongfully arrested. And the way I was mistreated by these officers, it kind of gave me a second, you know, a second opinion on, you know, hey, not all law enforcement is good, right? Not everybody is, you know, is treated fairly. And, uh, you know, I think I was, I was a victim of a political hit job and a family hit job from a, you know, pissed off ex-husband, but... You know, the police, the police, you know, should have been neutral and went with facts, evidence and the rule of law, not emotion. And so, you know, I think I think there's, you know, as we grow and we experience more things in life that, you know, that that can shape our, you know, our viewpoints and our positions on things. So, hey, Christopher, it was a pleasure to speak to you. You got a great mind. I hope to see you again. Thank you. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's backwards. I know. Alright, let's walk. We're gonna walk? Yeah. This guy's providing free shape. Uh, this guy's, this guy's got the corner held down. Ask, ask him about his math abilities. This one? Yeah. Ask him how are your math He doesn't look very like he wants to talk. Okay. Alright, guys, we're walking. Come on, Mike. So yeah, you know, we just come out to talk to these people and see, you know, why they want to impeach our president, why they hate Trump, and this is what we get. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Excuse me. All right. So now that the posse's calmed down, do you want to? Sorry, I'm still from the way he Look at the one who screamed at you for being over in their space went over into their space. Uh oh. Oh yeah, she's a. Yeah, she's a real winner. Yeah. So many support. I think it's Lisa's fault. <laughs> Put the off here, Lisa. Okay, so why do you want Trump to go to hell? Came out. Mm -hmm. Why do you want Trump to go to hell? Because he's just a shitty human being. He doesn't treat people like they're human beings. Like autistic people, the way he mocked them. They didn't mock them, and that was a video manipulation. That was video manipulation that you are did not take the time to research and watch the entire video. He did not mock any handicapped people. No, he didn't. You scrolled through social media and you saw an edited clip. Hold on a minute. All you have to do, all you have to do is look at how many times he's made that same gesture when it comes to other people. Uh -huh. He didn't. He never mocked the, the disabled person. Right. He makes that gesture when he feels like making fun of somebody who needs to be made That's fun of. That's still not. In he his wasn't. Opinion. He wasn't. His opinion. He, he wasn't, wasn't making fun. He wasn't making fun of handicapped people. Like who? Democrats. Oh, yeah. Sometimes they need to be made fun of. Okay. Like Schiff? What about Shifty Schiff? That spit in my face. I wasn't even coming to Okay, I don't I don't
Well, he's, he's a Trump supporter. He's got okay, well, don't lump us all in one. He spit on me and called me I'm sorry about that. Okay, well, there's, no, there's, a, there's a few women over there who think that she's a meth head and she's not, so... I look too well. I mean, <laughs> you don't look like a meth head. Thank you. <laughs> so, you know, I mean... I my bike up. It's a great day out here. I was just going shopping across the street, and I asked him to not walk the sidewalk, and he spit in my face. So, why do you want to dump Trump, though? Pro-Trump, anti-Trump, I condemn any sort of behavior. He's not a president. He's, Why? He's a celebrity. He's not what do you think of the unemployment? No, but what do you think? You know, I had a failed business too. It doesn't make me a bad person. It doesn't make me a bad leader. No, but he's not. Why? Because he because a business failed. That's that's all a part about. Hold on, let me finish. That's all. That's not Trump Hotel. Hold on. Have you seen his tax returns? No, have you? Then how do you know he doesn't pay taxes? Why doesn't he you can't make statements like that, but though, why, that are not factual. Why would he not let us see his tax he return? He's hiding something. Like He's hiding something. How much is in your bank account? Absolutely. I've never filed That's bankers. nobody's business, though. It is if you're the It is not. How much is in his wallet is not your business or mine or anybody else's. His ability to lead a nation. When everyone said how good he was of a businessman, he's not a good businessman. He cheats our country out of money. How do you know? Is that an opinion or it's is that... Opinion. Okay, it's your opinion based on... Based on the fact that he will not let anyone see his... Okay, so you're guessing. So you're saying he cheats our country out of his out of money. I'm just trying to get your statement here. You know, it doesn't lady, matter what I say. You're going to turn... I'm not turning anything around. For oh, go away. Uh, not charged. Uh, not charged. Uh, fuck face. Not five. charged. So fuck face. Really Have you ever been arrested? Okay. Have you ever been arrested? Innocent until proven guilty. Fucking soy boy. Get out of here, you soy boy. You know the backstory. We were having a conversation. We were having a good I conversation. I understand why you guys don't stick with Because I'm people. trying to get you to come back down to common sense here. I okay. Have but no, people. hold on, babe. No, 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 listen. No, no, no. This statement right here, this, this your own people shit has got to stop. Okay, okay, listen, though. We don't have our own people. We're all people. Okay, human beings. listen. In my face and and okay, I didn't spit in your face. You didn't spit in your face, no, and neither did I. And, 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 and that doesn't, we don't know who that is. Okay, listen. Not our people. We're Back to, I was like this close to a breakthrough here. Hi. Hi. Listen, he's you said, person. I know. But, but he's, he's a, I know. So you can have a but nice conversation. You know, we don't want to, you know, that's like I speaking like to the crowd. We, you know. He's not fishing for stuff from here. I'm not fishing either. I'm just trying to I'm just trying to encourage like critical thinking here, right? Trying to get you to open your mind. I'm trying to protest. But you're not protesting anything I substantial. Can't. It's getting in my face and you said that Trump that Trump is cheating the American people Trump helicopter. out of money because I say he's not paying his taxes. That's, like the that's, rest of us. but you're not basing that on any facts because you haven't seen because his tax he returns. Won't give us facts. So how can you say he's he not paying his taxes? It. So how can you say he's not paying his taxes? Until he proves it, I'm gonna keep. So paying. guilty until proven innocent. Exactly. You believe in guilt. So if I, if I said, I'm not talking about you. I'm not no, but you're talking. But let's talk about I'm common sense mind. here. This is liberals, guys. Is that our president? That's our. That's that's Trump's. That's helicopter. That's not our president, it's our president's son. That's his personal health. All right, let's go get in the line and find our people. Okay, guys, enough playing with liberals. Come on, Mikey. We can cut this way. Oh, they hurt my brain, guys. They hurt my brain, they hurt my brain. <laughs> why, why, why? All the fucking why are they so retarded? Oh, they're just dumb. That's all they have is personal attacks, right? When they can't, you know, they can't debate you. They can't speak to you. They have nothing to say. They hate me because I support my president. So therefore, they're willing to, you know, say whatever they want to say about me. I don't care, guys. I have thick skin, you know. I'm like our president. I, you know, my family's from New York. I'm raised, I was raised in a, in a family where my dad was a freaking badass, okay? And I didn't take shit from anybody. Now you hammer the...